Do you know how to work with for all in the Power App? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what we are going to see in this video. So here I have designed one screen and let me run this screen and show. See, this is the shopping like screen which I have designed. So when I click on this item uh, or you can say when I click on this gallery add to cart, whatever the item is there, it is added into the cart. So this is the cart gallery and this is the product gallery. Let me add it into the cart. Second item I have added and let's say I am adding the 10 items or you can say 10 quantity to that and when I click that the see when I add 10 automatically the total is updated to 3000 okay that is 300 multiplied by 10 okay and when I click on that automatically grand total is that that is 3800 let's say I have updated the 2 so automatically the uh, up, total will be updated by 100 why because I have added the two quantity okay not sorry zero zero i uh, place it by mistake okay so 200 and uh, see here uh, when i click on apply 10 percent discount automatically 10 percent discount is applicable on all these two item so i will use for all function to pick up the one item from this gallery apply 10 percent discount on that then go to the second item then apply 10 percent discount on that and then process it sum it up so what is the use of for all for all basically use when we have set of item and we want to iterate one by one on each item at that time we will use for all for that so let's implement this practically so here I have already designed a second screen just like a demo to explain you the coding. Okay, so this is the gallery control which I have taken. In this gallery control, the data is coming from the product table. Now product table is, I have created already the product table in Dataverse. Let me show you. So this is the product table and you can see this data. Okay, so you can see the data. Now, this data is coming into that. Now, when I click on add to cart, what I have done? I have taken a collection on that. Now, what is collection? How to do, uh, how to operate with the collection? What you can do with the collection? For that, I have already created a separate video for that. Click on this link to see this video. It is advisable to see this video after reviewing the collection video. Okay, so here I have created a collection card, uh, collection name card. When I click on the item, the item is added into the collection and uh, whatever the data I have added in the collection, in this gallery control, I have added that collection. Okay, now this is the, what is the collection? Now you can see that uh, value of the collection here. Okay, beautiful. So these are the data which I have added. So whenever I am adding the data into the uh, collection, uh, you can see the ID is given name, unit price and quantity. By default, when we add item into the cart, quantity will be one. You can increase and decrease the quantity after uh, adding into the cart. Then grand total will be unit price, whatever while, because by default, the quantity is one. And this time discount is zero and payment amount is whatever the unit price is there okay so here i have done this now see that when i run this i can edit the quantity okay let's say if i'm adding two automatically 300 into 2 will be multiplied so how i did this so in this customize or you can say blank vertical gallery i have added some control this is uh, one label for displaying the product name this is another label for displaying the product price and here i have taken the text box now on the text box on change event i have written the patch now basically patch is what patch is basically to update something in the data source or update something in a collection so i have already created what is the job of wet patch function how to uh, do with the patch function and how you can use the patch function in power app so you can click that link to uh, view more detail on patch okay so here i have taken the card which i have created that 
and here in grand total what i am doing so basically uh, by default the grand total will be that much okay so whatever the value i am writing that will be multiplied with that value okay so unit price that is the unit price and whatever the unit price is that that is multiplied by this okay so here i have done this and i am assigning into the grand total and quantity quantity i am updating into the patch function using a patch function why because by default when you add item into the cart quantity will be one so whatever the quantity is there i am updating to that okay uh, so quantity will be updated and if you run this you can see that if i add the quantity 30 okay so uh, it will be automatically updated into the cart let me show you now see the quantity is updated 30 before it was 2 so using patch function i done this now what i have done other in this gallery so i have added this rim uh, trash uh, icon so basically when i click on that it will remove item from the cart or you can say it will remove item from the collection which is cart name Okay, so remove cart and this item. Let me show you. Now see, this is I'm removing, and let me show you the cart. Okay, so the cart has only one value. Okay, now what we need to do? So whatever the item is there in a cart, we want to iterate one by one. So for that, we are going to use for all. So let me run and add. It. One and two. That is three items I have added in the cart. Then what I will do? I will pick up one item, apply ten percent discount on that, and then I will process it. So for that, what I need to do? So for that, uh, what we are doing first? I will. I'm just clearing everything by click on Run on Start. Why? The reason is that uh, I have set all the value to zero and empty. when i want to process from the beginning so for that i am just running it 1 2 and 3 just three item i have added into the cart and we will check it out which is there in a collection uh, cart or not okay so this is the collection and these are the three items are there now what we want to do we want to process each item on that and we want to apply 10% discount on that so for that i have already written a code let me explain you uh okay let me copy this code okay let me copy and here we are going to paste it into the apply 10% discount okay okay now i will explain this code one by one now see this uh first of all what we need to do we are going to iterate over the item one by one and we are going to create one new cart or we are going to create one new collection then the collection name is discount cart why because i am applying this thing on that okay so let me expand it again so i have created one discount cart and then i am iterating item for all so whenever you are writing for all you need to pass one thing that is on which collection or on which data source you are processing item one by one so for all will pick up the item from the cart now what is cart let me show you uh, you have already seen that we have three items on the cart so it will pick first item so it will pick first item then what i need to do in discount cart i am adding the id so this is the id and then i am adding one another thing that is a uh, product name so product name what is the product name this record this record basically basically uh, cart means we are selecting one particular row so this record dot product name this record dot unit price this record dot quantity so after this record you need to write the column name which you want to fetch and from which you want to fetch the item so let me show you again this value so if we write this dot product name so if it is at first time it is iterating the first column so if you write this item dot unit price so it will pick 300 if you write this item dot uh, product name so it will pick up uh, shirt if you write this item dot payment amount so it will pick up 3 
300 okay so i'm taking the all value that is id product name then product price unit price and grand total this thing we are taking so basically in discounted cart we are copy this one item into the another discounted cart okay and i'm processing this item then I am one more column I have added into that that in a discounted cart is uh, a grand total. So grand total will pick up the item uh, grand total from the cart and then I am processing the discount. So how much discount I want to apply? I want to apply 10% discount on that. Okay, so I have created one new column in the this card so discount equal to this record dot grand total so this record dot grand total means this okay so 300 then 300 i will apply so 10 10% uh, of 300 is that is 30 and then payment amount whatever the payment um, grand total is that we will discount it we will minus the discount value so that we have done this now let me run this code okay so let me apply 10 percent discount on that and we will look into that okay so discounted cart you can see that so it was 300 so 30 will be the discount and what amount i need to pay that is 270 why because 300 minus 30 that is 270 so basically this line is responsible for uh, that okay don't worry i have already uh, given a link into the video description so you can download this code uh, from that and you can try out by yourself okay uh, and then what I have done whatever the data which is there in discounted card so let's say how much amount I need to pay how much uh, discount I uh, total discount I get and how much uh, payment amount total I need to pay after the discount so I am doing sum up of all these things so I am setting the value of total discount equal to sum up discounted card and then what which column you want to sum up so this discount sum column I want to sum up and then the last is payment amount I want to sum up and I want to display this thing here. So to display here the sum uh, what I need to do I need to sum up all the things which is there in this gallery that is in a grand total section. So for that you need to write text and then now text is a function which will convert numeric value into the text why because label will display in only text value so then you need to sum up the things so you need to use some function and inside that you need to use gallery so my gallery name is i think uh, let me check it what is the name of the gallery so this is gallery 3 okay uh, so this is uh, gallery 3 gallery 3 dot all items all items comma then which i want to i want to sum up this grand total so grand total so automatically sum will be displayed that is uh, 300 uh, plus 300 that is 600 plus 100 that is 700 and 799 okay then display this now here i want to display the discount so discount which is uh, there i have calculated this so this is the variable which will contain the discount of that that is state total discount and here the total payment so let me here in the text uh, i need to again convert this value into the text the reason is uh, it is there in a numeric form so this is the total discount okay and here uh, let me display the total payment amount so again I am converting into the text so that is total payment after the discount how much I need to pay for that okay so let's run and see let's say if I am updating the value let's say it's 29 and I am applying the 10% discount and you can check it out that okay let me remove this and do it from the beginning so let's say here shirt i'm buying five quantity on that so that is 1500 gins i'm buying two quantity of gins 
so that is 2000 so 2000 plus 1500 that is 3500 and it is displaying the uh, value old value why because i did not clear that value okay so you can do that but later on we will fix it and then apply 10 percent discount so you can check it out the value is updated so since this value is uh, not updating properly so what you can do that you can go to the screen and here you can click on uh, click on this three dot and run on start so whatever the value is that it will clear out and we will check it out from the beginning so this is 399 and let's say here i'm applying the 30 quantity and here i'm applying the three quantity and then you can check it out okay so this way you can use for all for that so for all basically pick up the one item and iterate over and over again and then we will get a result so for all you can use for uh, where you want to iterate on value that is one by one thank you for choosing know-how academy as your source of it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out to us. It has been a pleasure to share this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.